Hello viewers, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. And today's recipe is a very lovely pickle recipe and it's made with tomatoes. So let's get started and make some delicious homemade tomato pickle. First, make a puree of the tomatoes. I have about four large tomatoes that have been chopped. Take a wide saucepan or a kadai, add two teaspoons of oil. Now I'm going to let you know that since we're making a pickle, we will be using a lot of oil, minimum of at least one cup. Just add the pureed tomatoes. We're going to cook this till it's completely reduced. Now you can see the tomato puree is reduced to half. I'm going to add the tamarind puree, it's about half cup, and cook it completely. After cooking with the tamarind puree for about five minutes. I'm going to add half teaspoon turmeric powder, about five teaspoons chili powder, one teaspoon fenugreek powder, rock salt, three teaspoons. Since it's a pickle, you definitely need the right balance of salt and spice to the pickle. The next, temper a few ingredients. For that, you need at least half to three fourth cup of oil. If you need more oil, you'll have to add a little extra later. A teaspoon of mustard seeds. Mustard seeds have started crackling. I'm going to add the red chilies and a few cloves of garlic. Garlic cloves are optional. If you don't want them, you don't have to add them, but I'm just adding them for a nice flavor. So this is your pickle. You can see how thick the puree has become. It's like a, literally like a paste. I'm going to pour the oil into the paste. Let it cook in the oil for a few minutes and then turn off the stove. You can see how the oil started separating. And now cool the mixture and store it in an airtight container. There you have this delicious homemade tomato pickle. You can store it in a nice airtight container and you can leave it out for a few days, maybe two, three days, and then you can refrigerate it. It'll be good for days in the fridge. Today I'm going to show you a pickle. It's very simple to make. It is garlic pickle. Let's take a look. Take a saucepan, I'm adding half cup gingerly oil. You need a little extra oil for the longer shelf life of the pickle. Now to this I'm going to add one teaspoon mustard seeds. Once the mustard seeds starts splattering, add one cup of garlic here. Cook the garlic in the oil for a few minutes. You can see they're starting to turn light golden color. So this is a good time to add all the other ingredients. Keep it on low flame, chili powder, Two to three spoons, one spoon cumin powder, one spoon fenugreek powder, one spoon asafoetida powder or hing. Salt, we can always check later for seasoning. Now I'm adding two teaspoons. So gently mix everything. Now to this, I'm going to add two tablespoons of tamarind puree to give you a little bit of tanginess. A teaspoon of jaggery just to balance the flavors. First of all, you need to cook it for at least 10 minutes. Once the oil starts separating, turn off the So now you can make your own garlic pickle at home. Enjoy with some yummy curd rice or just plain rice, steamed rice and a little ghee. So do try. Today we're going to do some delicious and tangy lemon pickle. Are you ready to get started? Well, I am. Lemons are always in season, so you can always make a lemon pickle with some nice fresh lemons. Let's get started. For this recipe, we'll need about 15 lemons and you have to choose lemon that doesn't have blemishes or any spots or anything on the skin. Cut them into half, remove the seeds. These are the size you want for the lemon pickle. If you have one or two seeds, it doesn't matter. So we'll get about eight pieces when you cut one lemon. This is the size you're looking for. So out of the 15 lemons, I've taken five for juicing. Reduce them and keep it aside. So the remaining halves of the lemon, I'm just going to cut it into quarts and use them as well. I'm not going to discard them. All right, so this I'm going to use for the pickle. Make sure you have a big bowl to mix the salt and turmeric powder. Add two teaspoons of turmeric powder. I'm going to add rock salt, about four teaspoons. If you need extra, you can add extra. This is the first step. I'm going to mix it. You don't have to put your hands, just toss it gently. 
So just mix it well. Make sure the pieces are all coated well with the turmeric and the salt. Now to this, I'm going to add the juice, the lemon juice that we squeezed out, and the five lemons earlier. So there are two ways that you can bottle the lemon pickle. The first uh, method is to just add the turmeric powder and the rock salt, mix it well with the lemon juice and then keep it, bottle it and minimum for about 10 to 15 days I would recommend. And then you can actually temper it with um, the mustard seeds and the red chilies and then mix the chilli powder and the fenugreek powder. So that is one way of doing it. So the second way of making the pickle is what we're going to do today. Let's see what we're going to do next. Next, I'm going to add two teaspoons of roasted fenugreek powder. Very essential for the pickle. Finally, I'm going to add the chilli powder. Make sure you get a nice, good quality chilli powder for the pickle. You'll need to add about three tablespoons. So I'm going to add all of this. Just mix it in. So if you feel this is insufficient, the chilli powder, you can add extra. You don't want it way too spicy either. You should have a right balance of both. So take a saucepan. I'm using half cup of gingerly oil because it's a pickle, you definitely need to use the right amount of oil so you can store it for a longer period of time. Add a teaspoon of mustard seeds. So add the red chilies. Turn off the stove and once the tempered ingredients and the oil has come to room temperature, I'm going to add it to the pickle. So add the tempered ingredients. Gently mix it. Pickle is ready to be bottled but you cannot consume it immediately. It has to marinate in this mixture for a minimum of 20 to 25 days. So we want to keep it longer, well and good. It'll be great if you can keep it longer also. Now you can make your own lemon pickle at home. Store it in a nice, clean, uh, moist, free, airtight jar or a container, preferably a glass jar. Subscribe to your YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on Amazon and 21 Frame.